Another way to care for any knitted items is to use duplicate stitch to strengthen any worn areas. You can see here there has been a small snag. Over time this could become a weak spot. We're going to take a preventative step here and demonstrate how to do duplicate stitch. All you'll need from your care and repair kit is your darning needle and lamb's wool yarn. Personally, I like to use an embroidery hoop to keep the tension on the knitwear. You can use an embroidery hoop, a darning mushroom, and if you don't have any of these, you can simply use a tennis ball or even an orange. You want to come in a few centimetres from where you want to begin and leave a tail to darn back in later. Then you just follow the path of the original knit stitch with your darning needle and yarn. With your needle, you're going to follow the front leg of the knit stitch around the top loop and then down the back leg of the knit stitch and then around the bottom loop and repeat. When it comes to the last knit stitch, we're still going to follow that back leg down with our needle. But instead of following the bottom loop, we're going to come up through the middle of the knit stitch to begin the next row. You then want to follow the top loop of this knit stitch with your needle. Come down the back leg and then pick up the shoulders of the bottom two knit stitches below. Then repeat. I'm using yellow here so it will be a visible mend, but you can use a similar colour if you want to try and make it a near invisible mend, just like what I've done here. Visit us on our website where you can get your hands on one of these care and repair kits, along with written instructions on this technique.